Hey there people of the Bion community, it is I, H O six five O, doing another Hero Factory review, this time of the Hero Factory Alpha Team Leader, Preston Stormer. And newsflash, I am drinking vanilla coke, so I may experience hibernus in the next few minutes, so please be warned. So yeah, uh Preston Stormer, he was the second one I built of the of the Hero Factory line. Yeah, he is the leader, of course, and so yeah, very, very cool. Um so yeah, uh now go I'm gonna go over his college scheme first, so for his color scheme, he, uh, Preston Stormer is, um, I think that's, uh, uh, model blue with, uh, yeah, model blue and white, so, and with a bit of translucent blue. So, white for the body, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, very icy color scheme. Same, like, basically like a Metis color scheme, <laughs> or something, I don't know. So, uh, now to go over his new pieces. For our new pieces for uh, Prison Stormer, he has um, he has the same shin uh, leg armor as William Inferno, so like all the Hero Factory guys, he's got the feet in white, and got the new molded arms and the and the, uh, the, the what's different about he's got the same chest plate and all, but it's a very it's a kind of a, a, a different mold. So you can see he's instead of vents coming out like this, he just like like this, and he's got some holes right here. He's got some dots in here and some vents and coming out of the shoulder pads is this um, like easy spike sticking out so very cool another new piece which I'm sure you're all wanting to know is then his weapon now of course um, he has a it's a very cool very uh, cl um, cluttered weapon he's got like a, like a spear right here and the main weapon right here which I think is a ice blizzard or, what, uh, or something which is made of this uh, which is made of a very hard, very soft rubber with the tips at the end being kind of hard plastic, which and attached to this little thing right here, which is very, very fragile. So if you bend it or play with it too much, it could it could possibly break. And of course, it's got a buzzsaw right here on on his shoulders, like this ice ice pick or something. Now, unfortunately, a lot of you have probably expected this going over his arm. Well, I hate to disappoint you guys, but. It's one hollow piece connect that goes over a hand joint. So I was disappointed too. It's a hollow piece. I w I wish they could have filled this piece up, made a bulk here, but no, they didn't. I guess for money purposes or something. But yeah, um, if it did, it would go over like um, it go over like this, go over like that. But it can't. Um, now I wish I wish they made this. Um, the hand joint blue to match with his other arm, but they made it black. But I guess you can uh, get a blue hand hand piece and attach it to there to make it look better. But yeah, it's one hollow piece, so very disappointing there. He's got the molded fist into it, which is, I guess, is okay. I guess it makes up for it. But still, it's a very it's a very cool piece. Uh, not much you can do with mocking wise, but still. And he has a new helmet, which which fits over the Katoran head. And it's this, so I must say this is a very cool helmet. He's got he's like um got some got a light right here and a, t a little communicator antenna. I think he has a very nice cool face. It's a sort of like a like a skeleton like face, I guess. He's got some um, imprints right in there, and you know and he's got a blue Gatorian head, and he ha uh, he has a he has the new torso piece, of course, and he has a blue hero. Factory Hero Core, which I'll move here, which is translucent blue. So here we go. So very cool. And uh, articulation is the same as William Furnos. You know, it's no elbow or knee articulation, uh, no pinning points at the knee. Articulation just goes all the way around. Uh, no, since this is a molded piece, it only goes forward and back and all the way around. And no hand movements. It's molded into the to the piece and uh, for posability like like with uh, William Ferno you can get him in cool pretty decent poses like you know of course you know that looks awkward since you'd have to pose him like this and on the back you have him fighting the leader of the very awesome villains Von Nebula I still think it's a silly name Von Nebula so yeah some pretty decent posability and uh, again disappointment with the articulation but yeah, so uh, now on tr I, uh, size comparisons, it's the same as the stars and William Inferno, blah, blah, blah. 
And now on to his, uh, his rating. So overall, I think President Stormer is pretty cool. He he's leader of the Hero Factory Alpha team. Although he, although he is the same as William Inferno, no no uh, limited articulation. I do, however, find this piece to be kind of interesting, even though it's very disappointing since it's a, it's a hollow piece and not much you can do with it. Uh, but still, I think it's a it's a unique unique piece. It's got like very I I don't understand why it has like three or five weapons on it, but still very cool. Um, it's got very nice little material, uh, rubber right there. Um, so yeah, I think his, his armor is very cool. Um, his, his chest plate is very nice. And, uh, so yeah, I give, I give, uh, Preston Stormer, um, an 8 of, an 8.8 out of 10. So I recommend him if you're, you're a white and blue fan and, you know, so yeah. So this is, so 8.5, I recommend him, get him if you want, and, uh, so yeah, this is H206 of O, signing out, and tomorrow we'll be reviewing Natalie Breeze and, um, Jimmy Stringer, so look forward to those, and this is H206 of O, signing out, and bye.